Good evening and thanks for joining us here at 11 o'clock. I'm Nicole Griffin. Demonstrators lined the front of a Carmel church today, some in favor of the Catholic priest's suspension and others in support of his words about the Black Lives Matter movement. Troy Washington is working for you to explain both sides of the argument at hand. The frustration comes from living this and then having to consistently and constantly explain what we go through. It's like double trauma. It's not my job to continue to teach about systemic oppression. Even though Reverend Ted Roth Rock has been suspended from ministry at St. Elizabeth Seton Catholic Church, the Carmel Against Racial Injustice group wants him removed from his leadership position for good after comparing the Black Lives Movement and its followers to maggots and parasites in his weekly message. Our stance is we believe that hate has no home at the head of a community or at the head of a uh, church or any place of worship. Um, people take the rhetoric that someone in leadership gives them, especially their religious leader, and they internalize that. And they So when you have someone carelessly saying the things that he did, that's gonna influence people in the community and bleed over to hate towards people of color in the community. Community. But there are people standing on both sides of the debate, some who want the leader to return and others who don't. Both stood outside the church on Sunday holding signs and chanting. I think that it's a prime example that we are still divided and it's a sad thing to see, but we're hoping that, you know, our stance can be known. It's Just standing with Father Ted, he didn't call uh, black people or protesters or anybody else maggots. What he called maggots was Black Lives Matter, the organization, and they are. They're feeding off of desperation in the community to cause all this ups upset. We all have a freedom of speech, right? We can talk about it until we're blue in the face, and that's what a lot of people want to do is they want to talk about it and talk about how they're supportive, but we're not going to stop until talk becomes action and action becomes progress. Those who say the priest was wrong and should be punished beyond a suspension say they are only interested in heading in one direction, and that's towards equality and change. Working for you in Carmel, Troy Washington, RTV6.